Look, and this is why, like, you know, you do take profits at the top. You have to. You hold cash. And then you also – look, this is also diversifying away from crypto is you get some real estate. You buy your house, your res – like, if you make enough money from crypto, you should be able to buy a moderate house with its $400,000 or a million bucks. That's – like, that's pretty much 99% of you guys. You know, you guys aren't buying fucking a crazy fucking mansion overlooking that. But, like, if you buy yourself a fucking house in a place that you like or you're working really good and you're, you put, you buy your $400,000, $500,000, dollars $700,000 house cash – Lock in, you're locked. You got this fucking, you got this granite fucking, you got this granite fucking thing that no matter what, you have a place to live. You cut that, you've got that nut secured. And then you can focus on getting some rental properties or a side business or something else out that that's way. If this crypto shit ever does go away, you're golden. You're golden. You're fucking golden. You're fucking unstoppable. You built wealth. You now have you you have this, you're hyper competent. In crypto, you now have you now have secured your physical place in a, in, in guys of a property, and that's really where long term wealth is. Is you got a property where you're living. You, you ain't got to worry about rent. You ain't got to worry about cost of living because that's one of the big things. Like when you rent, when you when you buy a house, it's expensive. Look, the first ten years of your mortgage is expensive. The second ten years of that thirty year mortgage, it becomes kind of negligent, and then I mean it becomes kind of like it doesn't really hit your bottom line anymore. The last ten years, it's zero. But I shouldn't even tell you, like when my parents bought their first house back in 2001, right? 2001, 2002, right? It costs nothing. It literally costs, like, it may, it may have cost like a couple hundred, like a barely a, like 200, 300 grand. They put a couple hundred thousand, they put a couple hundred thousand dollars into re, into like, you know, making it nicer, fixing it up. Their mortgage is nothing. If you were to rent in their, in the area they live in today, it's like $4,000 a month. Five thousand dollars a month. They're like paying a quarter of that in mortgage. That's kind of the power, and they're they're what they're probably like they're like twenty years in now into that mortgage. That's what happens. It's because the inflation will inflate like it, it, let, it let that debt goes. It becomes nothing, and that it becomes a savings because that property is now worth a lot of money now. 